Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your Pontiff, Archibald Chesterfield the third, AC3, AC3, AC3. And today guys, I'm doing a paid review. This here is a paid review for Marco. Marco was, uh, he, he, he was a, a uh, he was a crew member who, uh, I got to tell you, I got to thank him for his service he um yeah he 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 was he was a crew member who was on my live streaming channel for a period of time uh we had a few differences at the end there you know it's youtube is a very competitive business and sometimes you know uh the business is it's competitive You've got to act fast. Now, I'm doing paid review. Paid review, 21QB76. This is the the Marco collection. So he's very kindly sent me a massive super chat. Sorry, massive PayPal to do a, a paid review on his collection. Four-piece combo meal deal. He's a young 22-year-old guy. And... Circumstances has allowed him to have an amazing collection. What has he got in his amazing collection? Well, I will tell you exactly. He's got a four-piece combo meal. Before we start, quick, quick, quick whist watch check. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my sub. It's I've actually put everything in the bank safe. All I've got is the sub marina. This is the sub date. This is the forty-one mil. Sub ceramic date. Uh, I love it. Love it. Love it. So, Marco's collection, what do we have in his four piece combo meal deal hunger buster? We've got, we've got some reasonable stuff for a young guy like Marco to have this collection. It's amazing. When I say amazing, it's amazing when we look at it. He's got two very solid steel sports Rolexes. These have become incredibly hard to get, incredibly expensive. And I got to be totally honest with you. I think it's amazing for a young guy to have that, which is, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute there. The thing is, I may have some personal differences with Marco. We may have had a bit of a, a tiff and a taff, but I, I remember the good times. I remember the good times we had there. And, you know, I got to be honest with you. We had some good experiences, good times together. And I would like to, this review, it doesn't matter the person. It's the collection we're reviewing because that's the essence of it. Just because we may have had a, the odd tit for taff, um, it's the review that the punters want to see. Okay, so we've got four-piece combo meal deal, four-piece. And let, let's have a talk about them. <clears throat> so so the, uh, the foundation piece he's got here, he's got a no-date Submariner 40 mil. That's the ceramic 114060, 40 mil maxi case, uh, no-date sub, classic iconic sub, I don't want to get into an argument. Is the 41 mil better? Is the 40 better? Is the pre... You know what? It's a beautiful watch. The 40 mil maxi case. It's a gorgeous watch. It's a gorgeous watch. It doesn't matter how you look at it. It is an amazing wristwatch, which could be a one and done. It's a grail for many people. It's actually beautiful. The second piece we have is an incredible piece for a 22 year old to have, we have the, we have 
the bat, bat, bat go, bat go. Now, Marco likes to call it a Bruce Wayne. You know what? Embrace your feminine side. Embrace your feminine side. I think it's a beautiful watch. Batgirl, Batman, whatever you want to call this bloody thing. It is a beautiful GMT. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Do I prefer it on the Jubilee? <clears throat> you know what? Doesn't matter. I think it's a great yin and yang. He's two Rolex steel sports. He's got a Submariner. He's got a GMT. He's got one with date, one without date. One on an oyster bracelet with flip lock, another one on a Jubilee. Seriously, two ceramic steel stunners. Absolutely, you can't get better than that. I don't care how rich, how wealthy you are. Those two pieces, absolutely amazing. Amazing pieces absolutely amazing there's nothing nothing bad i can say about those two pieces the pieces are incredible they are absolutely incredible probably at the moment i would say they're probably two very very hot <coughs> the no date sub seems to be a little bit more <coughs> popular than the date sub who knows and the bat girl seems to be a bit pop more popular than the Batman. But you know, this is all hearsay. They are two beautiful steel sports Rolex. That's the important thing. Then we have, now this is where we're starting to get into lesser territory. We've got a Pam, Pam 183, and we've got a Hamilton Ventura pizza cutter. Okay, so you know what here, you know what, uh, what do I think of the Pam, the Pam itself there? Look, it is an okay Pam. I quite like, I quite like the Radiomere because it's got the more traditional case. It's the vintagey retro sort of look. I like it with the big crown like it is. It's very much like an IWC big pilot, the big crown. Uh, I like the seconds at the nine. That's a traditional Panerai uh, thing. This is the... What do I think of this watch? I quite like it. I like it. I like it. Do I love it? No. No, don't love it. I like it. It's, this is, is it a special, look, is it a great, look, I think for some people, it could be a one and done watch. The problem I have is, in this collection here, why would you keep it when you've got a no date sub and a GMT Bruce Wayne slash Batgirl? Why would you? And there's no reason, it's sentimentality and... You know, it's funny. I kept, I remember, you know, I had my Pad X 6006 and I got lucky with a certain lady and that watch didn't make me lucky. It's me. That watch you could give to someone else and, you know, it, it's, it's absolute lunacy. You try and hold on to these memories by keeping these trinkets. And I... I got to be totally honest with you. I tend to do a bit of cutting. The other thing I would cut is the pizza cutter, the pizza slicer. It's it's a nothing watch. It's absolutely a nothing watch. Hamilton is a look. If when he was a young guy, the Hamilton was <coughs> it was it was a nice starter. It was a very nice entry level starter. But I got to be totally honest with you. You know what I find for small collections? Small collections, <coughs> I find when somebody follows rules, 
rules, self-imposed rules, the collection works out better. What do I mean? Self-imposed rules and the collection works out better. What I mean is, in this collection here, if this guy here had a few little rules, it would be so much stronger. It would unify and excite me. Marco, please get rid of the Pam and get rid of the pizza cutter. My advice to you, and I've, I've seen this, I look at collections. I particularly love smaller collections. Smaller collections, you know, from two to six pieces. And what I find empowering is somebody who follows the rules. They set some rules and then you think, ooh, what a powerful statement. For example, somebody who just collects submariners. Somebody who collects just divers, okay? They could have a submariner. They could have a pro prof. They could have... Uh, maybe a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage, and they could have a Pam, just divers. You think, ooh, great rendition of the rules. You, you know what I mean? Nice rules. Uh, in this collection here, the rule should be steel sports. It should be, I personally think, the two big foundations in this collection is your sub, no date, and your bat girl sub no date bat girl that you would never sell those two because they're so powerful what i would do is you know what i would do is is i would say do i really need the pam you know what flick the pam flick the hamilton the hamilton isn't even a consideration it's a nothing it's a bullshit watch it's something you should get rid of asap I would get rid of the pan and I would buy a wind and wear basic Rolex. Now, what would I get? What would I get? <laughs> what would I get indeed? You know what I would love to see you add there would be a Milgauss. Air King. The new Air King would really please me. I reckon that Air King would be absolutely amazing. You'd have no date sub, bat girl, and an Air King three-piece steel sports Rolex. That's your rules. Steel sports Rolex only. I reckon that in a small collection would absolutely work. And I got to tell you, Tim, our Tim, our Tim from the Tim Wright channel. He may not know much about watches. He may be have many flaws, but you must admit, when you see a constant Rolex steel sports theme running through with one two-tone... Oh, sorry, he hasn't got a two-tone. He's got a 36. Sorry, they're all steel sports Rolex. It really pops like that. And I got to tell you, this collection here, if it followed some rules, steel sports Rolex, that's what I would do, nothing else. Uh, I, I think steel sports Rolex would make it such a powerful hitting statement. Now, you could say if he didn't have the GMT, we could go diver. So which if we went diver, we'd have a sub no day. The Pam, maybe a Pro Prof, would, would be divers, divers, divers. But you've already said the foundations in this collection is the, the Batgirl and the Note 8 Sub. That's the foundations. Everything goes on top of those two. So personally, flick the Pam. I know it's hard. You know, it's so hard. But let's be honest with you. Do you think they're going to have a museum for you? Are you this special? Just because you may have gone out with a sexy girl when you wore the Pam, it doesn't mean the Pam is what did it. It's yourself. And you've got to remember, these are memories. You can't hang on to every tissue and serviette and receipt from a date to relive those memories. You've got to create new memories. 
So I, I would say personally, flick the two dogs. Well, the Pam's not really a dog, but it's it doesn't compete to the two Rolex. Personally, wouldn't it be beautiful? Say we had an Air King, no date sub, and a, a Batgirl. Man, that'd be a boom. Rolex Steel Sports Collection. Wow. And then we could add maybe a Speedy. Uh, and then after the Speedy, we could add a Vacheron if we had the money, you know. Um, that's my advice. I think you need to have some rules. I find with a lot of people, they're very stubborn. They want to hang on to sentimentality. That isn't the memory. That isn't the memory. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter like that, okay? It doesn't matter. Personally, get rid of the two dogs, the Hamilton and the Pam. Get yourself an Air King, three Steel Sports Rolex. That'd have punch. That'd have a lot of punch in the collection. I think smaller collections work when they have some rules, okay? And I think in your collection there, it's amazing. You've got some amazing foundation stones. Get Steel Sports. Steel Sports Rolex is the theme. Stick to that. You can't go wrong. That's exactly what I would do. So there you go. That's my advice. Lovely collection. Foundation is amazing. Just look. Memories and, and good times, you know, it's 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 all bullshit, okay? When we're dead, we're dead. No one's going to give us stuff. So my honest advice would be to... My honest advice would be to do that, okay? So there you go. I've spoken. That's my advice. Guys, I will see you in the next one. It's your pontiff here. Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I desperately need the paid reviews to keep me full time on YouTube. So please get another paid review done. I desperately need these paid reviews. Okay, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget you can sponsor me on Patreon a little, as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month just to keep me hanging on the thread. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Hey, guys, check out my one of my best friends, Jamie Opulence on YouTube. Just go to Jamie Opulence on YouTube, a fantastic travel, a fantastic channel from my good friend, Jamie. Check it out, guys. Hey, guys, Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to introduce a new service to you, valueyourwatch.com. Proud supporters of Archie Luxury. No seller's fees, no buyer's fees. That's right, guys. This is a trading platform to buy or sell watches. You can start selling for free. That's right. Uh, we advertise our paying for, for our paying sub subscribers on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. It's a global platform. That's right, guys. Get $50 off the annual subscription by applying the coupon Archie when you check in there. But, guys, you can try this for free straight away. Guys, you can start listing watches. Valueyourwatch.com. Give it a try and tell me what you guys think of that. Subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube and I will see you 
in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.